Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use the MB Sky Painter Actions Collection. Um, now this set is a collection of 10 actions. Um, these are not sky overlays. Um, sky overlays are awesome, but they do take a little bit more time to apply than these do. Um, these you simply hit play and paint them onto your photo. So I'm going to show you um, exactly how they work today. So um, first things first, let me make my brush a little smaller here. I just did that by holding the left bracket key on my keyboard uh, right next to the letter P and you can hit the right bracket key to make it a little bit larger. So, um, okay, so first thing that you're gonna do, this is the Sky Painter collection over here. Um, if you don't see this panel, you can go to view, or no, window, I'm sorry, window actions, and then this will pop up. Um, so you just install these like you would install any regular Photoshop actions, and I do have some instructions on the site if you need them. Um, pretty much you just come right here to this little tab and hit load actions. You find them in there and then you pull them up into Photoshop. Um, just don't forget to extract your zip file first. Um, okay, so this is a set of 10 actions and they are super quick and simple to use. So I'm gonna show you today how to do that. So um, with this photo, it's got, uh, my subjects are not in front of the sky, but I do have another photo I'm gonna show you where the subjects are in front of the sky. So I'm gonna show you both ways to do it just in case you um, have questions. Okay, so I'm just gonna select one of these effects in here and hit the play button. And it ran on the photo, but you don't see anything yet until you paint them on. So that's the cool thing about these is that you have full control over where they go. Um, so when the action is done, you're gonna see this black layer mask right here. Um, you can see these little white um, corners highlighted here, which just means that that layer mask is selected. That's what you want. Um, from there, I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to make sure that my brush is soft. It's got the soft edges. I don't want this hard one or I can see the brush strokes. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I have a soft edge brush. And then all you have to do is make sure your color is set to white and you can start painting. So you can just sweep this color right in there. Now my brush right now is at 60% opacity. Um, so it's not full strength, but it's not uh, too low either. So what you can do is just click over it again to make it a little bit stronger. Um, and so this is awesome too because you can kind of build the color in if you want it to start out light at the bottom um, and slowly get a little bit darker up at the top you can do that um, and another cool thing about these is that you can build on them so um, that was tropical sunset sky paint and so I'm gonna run that one with twilight sky I'm gonna hit that one and twilight sky added right here at the top so now that that layer mask is selected now I can paint again and it adds that color in so, and some of these combinations might look better with each other than others. Um, so you can mix and match or play around. Um, and then once you're done painting it on the photo, you can then adjust the opacity over here too to kind of see which one looks better. Um, you can turn one on and off and kind of see what you think. And then if you don't like it at all, you can simply drag it right down to the trash can and get rid of it. Um, and then you can add a different one. So uh, this time I'm gonna try Midsummer and hit play and I still have my tropical sunset on there um, but another cool thing you can do is if you've already painted the the sky in um, and let's say it was a little bit uh, took a little bit longer than I just did here um, what you can do is you can hold down your alt or option key and click on that oops not like that sorry guys um, okay so hold down your click this layer mask hold down your alt or option key and drag to this layer up here and this will ask you if you wanna replace that layer mask with this one. Just hit yes, and now you have the exact same layer mask on both. Um, now you might wanna tweak this or, or whatever, but I did a really quick adjustment. If you took time and you don't wanna to have to do it all over again, this is a really cool option for doing that. And then again, you can adjust your opacity um, from there. So I'm gonna delete that one and delete that one. And then I will show you um, a couple more. So this one is purple pastel, I'm gonna hit play. I deleted both of the other ones. Um, and again, I'm at 60% opacity. You can make this 100, you can make it 10, that's up to you. And I'm just unclicking my mouse and going over it again to add a little bit more color where I want it. Um, you can also feel free to open the action and turn these settings up if you want. Um, so, or you know, duplicate them. You could double this simply by grabbing this whole layer, dragging it down to this little sheet of paper icon, and it will, it will double up. 
and then you can lower the opacity of one of them to, to tweak it a little bit if you wanted to. Um, so this is the pretty much the basis of how every single one of these actions works. It's just that each one has a slightly different effect than the other, like different colors, um, different gradients, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to show you the, another photo. This one has the subjects right in front of the sky. So that's where it can get a little bit tr uh, tricky. So if your subjects are in front of the sky, I'm going to show you how to um, still use these actions, but um, be a little more careful around your subjects. So I am going to try for this one, I will do uh, blazing fire first. Okay, so again, I just hit play and the action is done, but I have to paint it on before I see anything. So here, same, I'm, I'm at 60%. I can lower this if I want to. Um, I'm just gonna sweep this on really quick for you guys. So as you can see, this adds some crazy intense color. What I'm gonna do is sweep right over my subjects. It's gonna look pretty funny at first, um, but I just sweep right over them. Um, and then what you can do is just zoom in a little bit, make your brush, black, set your brush to black, White will allow you to paint that color on, and then if you switch your color to black, it allows you to remove it. So I'm just going to come in here and just lightly remove this from them. I'm gonna leave the edges of her hair alone. Um, I do want it to look like the color of the sky kind of reached them, kind of touched them, uh, which will naturally happen with your subjects. If they're in front of um, you know, a bright sunset, some of that color will touch them. So. I painted it off of them a little bit. You can definitely go further here. I just hit the three on my keyboard to lower my opacity to 30%, and you could paint this off of them a little bit more. Um, I try not to get too precise with this, or you get like halos around them, um, like white area where you went a little too far, but that's the beauty of a layer mask. Like if I accidentally erase too much over here like that, I can either Alt Control Z to undo it, or I could just switch my color to white and just paint some color back in right there. So. I hope that is helpful. Um, you can also, again, lower the opacity of the sky, and that will reduce the effect over them as well. So, um, and then you can grab the layer mask again and paint more color. Since we've lowered the opacity of the sky overall, that reduces the effect over them. Um, you can then make your brush bigger and just go, over, go around them a little bit more to add a little bit more color. Since we weren't at 100% when we first swept this color on, we still have some more room to, to build the effect up. So, um, and again, you can duplicate the effect by dragging the layer down to the little sheet of paper icon, and that will double it, make it super strong. I'm gonna delete one of those. Um, and then again, you can mix and match these. So if I wanted to add, let me see, um, let me try true blue, and I'll hit play. And this one's pretty cool just for, let me turn off blazing fire for a second. So in this photo, I do have some cloud detail, but it's just kind of gray and, um, not very bold so that will that's where this collection would come in is to add some some color and some you know creative intrigue to the photo so here i'm just going to select the layer mask again um, and like i said you can duplicate this since um since on the last effect we added we went a little more in depth with the uh where we painted the effect and removing it off of our subjects this is where i would probably select that layer mask hit my alt or option key and drag onto this new layer yes um, so that way it, it already knows that I painted the effect in and removed it from my subjects a little bit. You can see the layer mask right there. Okay, so that is blue. That um, is the true blue sky paint that adds some blue color. Um, and then you can lower the opacity or something like that to make it a little bit more subtle. Um, and then you can double these up. If I have blazing fire already ran, I can hit the little icon right here to turn it back on little eyeball and you can see what they look like built up this one kind of looks a little green so I probably would not use this in combination um, yeah I'm not really a fan so I'm gonna delete true blue and try a different one so I'm gonna go for midsummer and hit nope I lied I'm gonna go for Twilight and hit play okay and then again you can just paint this in let's say you don't want to use the exact adjustment you just want to add a little bit of color um, sort of wherever you want it. You don't want to exactly use the other um, layer mask. You can just paint this in. Okay, yeah, that just kind of makes it look a little dingy. So I'm gonna lower the opacity of Blazing Fire and then I will try Midsummer. So again, like you can keep building these on, uh, try all the different effects mixed with each other to kind of double them up. 
um, the yeah if you can go as far with these as you want or keep them subtle too so feel free to lower the opacity right back down um, and make it a little bit softer um, and more believable so I'm gonna hit the alter option key again and click the eyeball on my background layer at the same time so when I do that it turns off both of those effects so I can see my before and then my after and you can do that on the other photo as well so you can hit your eyeball and hold down your alt key and turn those on and off so that is the MB Sky Painter collection. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.